Okay, today we are gonna make a hot air balloon. To make the balloon, you need a produce bag from the produce aisle, scissors, scotch tape, a straw, matches, a birthday candle, and a little aluminum foil. Um, to start off, you are going to make the base of the balloon. You can cut the straw like maybe in half or so. You don't need one of these bendies, it can be any kind. And then you're gonna take the straw and we need it to be as light as possible. So we're gonna cut the straw in half, like so. And cut the straw in half again. So that's the first half. And then this is the second. And then we wanna make a little X that will be a base for the hot air balloon. So I'm gonna take a little piece of tape and I'm gonna rip it in half because we wanna always minimize the tape. And I'll put the first piece across like that, the second piece across like that to kind of make my base. And then I'm just gonna kind of tuck them under so it stays nice and tidy. Ta-da! Okay, now we wanna make, from the aluminum foil, we wanna make a nice little square that will hold two little pieces of match. So you're gonna, or not match, of candle, sorry, of candle. <laughs> you're gonna take the candle and you only need um, about a third. So I'm gonna cut the first third and the second third. And then I'm gonna remove some wax from, sorry, from one of them so that I have a little wick showing for both. And then I just want to basically put the candles onto the piece of tin foil. So I'm going to melt them on just by heating the bottom. Okay, so basically get the bottom of the match, or of the, I keep saying that, of the candle drippy. Here's the first one. And then do the same thing to the other one. Bottom of the candle needs to be dripping. You know, if you want to do this over a plate or something so that, you know, if you're a little a little drippier or whatever, you can you can do that. Okay, so that's your base. It should hold pretty well. <clears throat> I want to just attach it. So again, I'm going to take another little piece of tape, but I'm going to rip it in half. And you're trying to get the most, the smallest little pieces you can possibly get. So there's the first piece. And I just want to tape it on to the base. Two you could use scissors or whatever I just kind of ripped them but I think you can do whatever you like here's the next one and then it's gonna kind of stick but you know you can just kind of pick it up and then again you want to just kind of fold things under to kind of keep things nice and tidy All right. awesome now next part is you need your produce bag so you want to open the produce bag on the correct end, here we go. And then I'm just gonna basically, again, try to minimize the tape. I'm gonna take one piece, oops, it's stuck there. I'm gonna take it, this and just tape it on. And then I'm gonna stretch the produce bag so I'm like on the other side and I'm gonna just take it like so, you know, and I'm gonna tape it. So I'm trying to do this so you can see, like that. So it sort of gets, you get this kind of a situation. And then I'm gonna do the same thing again to the other two sides. So again, like this. And I'm just kind of taping from the inside, but you can kind of do whichever, you know. I think it could be from the outside. I don't think it's really that big a deal. So there, and again. There's the edge, there's the edge, like that. So basically you get something that looks like that. Now, I'm gonna open it out. Like so. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just sort of get the bag really, really loose so that there's a lot of air in there and we're gonna have to light it from underneath. I think that works best to not like melt the produce bag. So you're gonna light your match and then you wanna really, really give yourself lots of room because the bags melt really fast and really easily. So you've done this much work. You don't wanna light it on fire at this point.
not on fire, but really just melt it. And so that is the balloon. We're gonna set it down and I'm gonna let it rest for a minute. And then the air gets warm, 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 comes out the bottom so there's less air inside the bag. And then, in pretty short order, it's gonna lift up. Boom! <laughs>